Hi, I'm Junior with Keystone RV Center. Today we're talking about tool bags, okay? This is what should be in your camper to fix the problems that come up on a trip till you get back, okay? So a lot of you guys are gonna put comments on here. What about this? What about this? You need this. Not disagreeing to finish work on the camper, yeah, but this is just the stuff to get you through, worst case scenario. Stuff in here that'll help our service department diagnose problems possibly over the phone notice that keyword possibly again we're going to try to help you out as much as we can but without some of this stuff we're not going to be much help that being said first pocket here mechanics gloves ratchet strap now ratchet strap the gloves should come in handy you should know where they're we're going there ratchet strap okay Old manual awnings, if the springs go out in the middle of the trip, you need a way to tie it back to the camper. Okay, so whether you have one of these, two of these, whatever. Um, also, uh, we've seen it all the time. Guys will mess something up on the tires because they're not checking tire pressure, stuff like that. Blow a tire, need to strap the axle up because it caused damage to the shackling. Being able to do that, having a ratchet strap handy. Okay, I keep a high visibility vest on my in my bag at all times, right on the outside. Um, that way, if I have to, and we're not recommending doing work along the side of the highway, if I had to, I would put one on. I would not recommend doing it. Um, that being said, on the other side, and if you are wondering, this is a large SOE tool bag, and before you comment, yes, we know it's expensive. Um, I bought it. That being said, I'd rather buy it once than buy it twice. Fuses. Mark, let me know when we're zoomed in. You got it? It's a good enough picture. He's giving me a thumbs up. Okay. I carry a wide variety of fuses inside of this. Um, I don't know what camper I'm going to have a lot of times. I'm privileged enough to be able to drive around a lot of these campers to a lot of different shows and have to fix a lot of different problems. That being said, go into your camper and your converter. Figure out what fuses you're going to need. Watch the video that we're going to have coming out on that. Hopefully, by the time this is uploaded, we'll have already shot that video. Also check out the video that we're going to be doing on the hidden fuses on your camper where we talk about them on the power tongue jacks, underneath the frame, things like that. We're going to get with the uh, service department. Try to get Steve on a video. He is reluctant. We tried to get him in this video. He said no. Um, inside this bag, zip ties. Okay, whether you have an entire pack, whether you have three, four, um, have a pack, you'll always have enough. You have four, you'll need five. Along with that, a drill with a charge battery. Now, a lot of you hear me say, if you don't already have a spare drill, just buy a $15 one. It'll get you by from Harbor Freight. Um, this is the drill that I bought, to, or this is the replacement drill, uh, the drill that I replaced when I got my new Milwaukee. Spare water pressure regulator. If yours fails when you go to hook it up because there's a check valve inside of here, and if it's not working, it doesn't flow anything at all. It'll just seal right here. So, having a spare one, very handy. We highly recommend the Equalizer E4s here. We think they're a great product. They do require special pins. If you're like me and you put stuff on the back bumper of your truck and you drive away, if you've ever used an iPad with Find My Phone feature driving down the highway, trying to figure out where your phone fell off, have a spare set in your camper. Along with the cordless drill, we do have the jack adapter. Mark's giving me the thumbs up. Sounds like I got a picture. Mark, I'll put my phone on silent. Don't worry, I got it. 12 volt test light, okay? This thing here, along with multimeter with new batteries in there, and the leads to go with that, are going to be crucial. Now, Mine is a snap-on that has a voltmeter on it, and I run a fluke. Okay, now I bought this off one of the guys that was upgrading his, got a heck of a deal on it. You have ones from Walmart that are 10, 15, 20 bucks, and they work, that, that's great. That's all you need. Just something so our service department can talk through. If your budget allows it, the reason I like this is when I FaceTime with one of my shop guys or I'm talking to them on the phone, our meters look the same. They have the same dials in the same location. So that's kind of why I run that. That being said, and I'm not seeing the tube of caulk in here. 
So we have the cock and gun, but somebody has taken this. Check your bags before you go on each trip because things go messy, okay? Um, roof sealant, okay? If you want to bring sidewall sealant with you as well, great. Slide out lube, this will work for just about anything, um, mainly if your slide room is making a lot of noise that it shouldn't be. Quick roof repair. Highly recommend having this. You go into a campsite, you drag a tree branch, you rip your roof, roof open. You can either A, boogie back home, get it to a service department, they can slap this on there till they get a new roof, or you already have that with you. Along with the drill, we're going to have a stack of bits, okay? Along with, I use a number two square tip bit for 80, 90% of the screws in here, that's what they run. So I have a hand driver that I can put that bit in. Gorilla tape, and we have a little bit of uh, electrical tape there. Along with that, wire strippers, wire cutters, and then all our butt connections. Okay, make sure that when you get those, you have the stuff for 110 if you feel comfortable working with 110. If you don't, don't mess with it. Ask our service department on the phone what you need to do to trip a breaker to make sure it's safe for you to use it for the rest of the weekend. They probably will say bring it to a service department, unplug it from 110. That being said, the 12 volt fuses or the 12 volt connectors, get the weather tight ones. You will need a lighter. Mark, it's like the AC's on. I run duct tape around my lighter, okay? Utility knife, flashlight. Again, charge batteries are key on this stuff. I change mine out every six months regardless and every flashlight it cost me a couple of bucks on Amazon. This is a quick socket tool. The idea behind this, it has standard metric all built into one. Put a screwdriver through there, you can really wrench on it. It's got me out of things. What we're trying to do is get us through the weekend, not repair the trailer. So that works great, I don't have to bring a whole separate socket set with me. Adjustable pliers, adjustable wrench, needle nose, eyeglass, screwdriver with a bunch of different tips inside of it. Throw all that in there, pick that up later. A small hammer, always good to have a small hammer with you. This is not for unhitching your fifth wheel, this is not for unhitching your travel trailer. If you're slamming on the front of your travel trailer, Check out our YouTube videos on the, what is it, the Equalizer E4, Mark's Naughty, I must be right on the title. I don't make up the titles, Mark does. And the other one is Fifth Wheel Hitch and Unhitch. Just go to our YouTube page, you'll see the ones we're talking about. We go over how to do that without using this. This is just to get everything back in line um, whenever we bend it coming out of the campsite. Fidget spinner, okay? If your kids are bothering you while you work on stuff, here, give this to them. They'll go disappear for an hour. And this is just a 110 tester, so I can plug this into the outlet. Um, a lot of our questions we get at the service department is I don't have this outlet working. If you plug into other outlets, we can determine whether it's an entire unit issue or whether it's just with one particular section of the coach. This will tell us that. Also, watch our video on what we call it, I don't have power in my trailer, when we connect, when we had the issues with uh, GFI outlets. Other than that, um, that's everything in here. Again, if you are interested in the bag, it's an SOE bag. Yes, it is big. Yes, it is beefy. Yes, it'll hold up to what you need to do with it. That being said, guys, comment down below about other things you think should be in there. Obviously, uh, I need to go figure out who stole my tube of caulking out of my bag and get that taken care of. But put comments, see what's going on uh, in your bag. Maybe we can come up with a couple of things we need to add to it. If we get enough things, maybe we'll do a different video. Maybe we'll ask you to be in the video. Possibly. I mean, it wouldn't be the craziest thing we've done yet. Aside from that, um, what else are we trying to do today, Mark? I think that's it for this video. Should we just keep talking? That way Eric thinks we're actually doing something out here, or can we just leave the tripod up and I occasionally move? Because he's looking in the window right now. I don't know if he actually sees us, because this Catalina's got 10 new windows. But... Guys, give us a buzz if you have any other questions. Again, comment down below, 1-800-232-3279. Talk to you soon. Have a great day, guys.